Really special night, Amanda and David. It's a telethon for Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, which is part of Seattle Children's. It's an opportunity for all of us to say yes to kids. Yes, we care about kids. They need us now more than ever before, and it's an opportunity to really build community. Right, That's Dr. Right. Ben? That's right, Jean. And we're gonna show you how this clinic is helping this community get quality care with dignity. It's gonna be an amazing show, and I hope you'll uh, join us and really enjoy yourself. And most importantly, I hope you'll make those phones light up tonight. We have a phone bank behind us. We have some celebrities manning the phone, so you'll wanna to talk to them. And in order to do that, you'll make a donation to Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. It's coming up right now, just ahead, growing wellness at the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. See you there. Right now, King 5 presents a special live event, Growing Wellness, an Odessa Brown Children's Clinic and Seattle Children's Special. <laughs> Welcome to a very, very special program. I'm Jean Anderson. And I'm Ben Danielson, Senior Medical Director at the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. We have a really special night, a telethon to help raise money for the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic as part of Seattle Children's. Now at this very special clinic, we provide medical, dental, nutritional, and mental health all in one place. Wouldn't we all love that? Best of all, it includes everybody, regardless of a family's ability to pay, and we do it with dignity, right, Dr. Ben? Yeah, and that word, I hope you'll hear that word over and over tonight because that's one of the most important qualities of this clinic. That word dignity was built into our clinic almost 50 years ago by our first medical director, Blanche Levizo. And we have this obligation, this prideful opportunity to continue to make sure that dignity lives on, not just on paper, not just in words, but in our actions, in our programs, and the people who go through the doors of that clinic every single day. It's wouldn't, all about dignity. Wouldn't we all want health care with dignity? You can hear the phones ringing off the hook right now. Thanks for calling right away. Jim Dever of Evening is with us to man the phones. Jim? Uh, Gene, Ben, we're uh, waiting for these phones to really start ringing. You guys want some phone calls, right? We've got, we've got some great uh, volunteers from the community here and a few famous faces that you'll be meeting throughout the show. Like, uh, let's see, people like... Uh, like King Five Evening, St. Brian, bad example. Uh, big, big, big stars like Terry Hallman from the Barber Shop. Hey, T. Hala, T. Hala, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for being here. So you get to talk to these luminaries, Kim Holcomb, uh, Michael King, for instance. That is your name, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so all you have to do is pick up your phone and call. There are lots of ways to give. Uh, one way is, uh, sorry, Michael, okay, I bumped no, into your head. 206-978-1061 uh, is the number to call, or toll-free, 866-987-1061. Uh, also, if you're afraid to talk on the phone. Yeah, I don't Sometimes somebody. Saint gets a little nervous on yeah. the phone. You yeah. get a little nervous? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, you can also go to the website, which is giveto.seattlechildrens.org slash OBCC special, or even easier than that very simple URL. <laughs> you can just text OBCC to 51555. So we hope you'll do that soon. Make these phones ring off the hook. Make the web ring off of whatever the web rings off of as well. Back to you, Ben, Jean. All right, Jim, thanks. And so just a correction on that phone number because we know you want that number right now. It's 206-987-1061. So let's hear those phones ring. Dr. Ben Danielson, I think, and I think the community believes, is a real treasure for our community. A pediatrician, formerly a foster child, educated at Harvard, came back to the UW to study medicine, and he is ours. He's the medical director of Odessa Brown. He's dedicated to the patients and families at Odessa Brown. Why does it mean so much to you, Dr. Ben, and how does your background inform your work at the clinic? Well, I think it's so important just to know that, you know, this is a clinic full of amazing people, so many more amazing people than a lot of people ever get to see or meet. And uh, I'm just part of this, this family of talented folks. I think all of us bring something of our hearts and our souls to, the, to work every day. And I know that when I think about what's going on in our world today, how we're dealing with a lot of different stresses and challenges, and how the families we work with especially are dealing with challenges, it's, it's, it's a privilege and it's an obligation for every one of us to kind of step up and 
think about how we can be contributing to our community. I was raised by this incredible, weird, single mom uh, in this house of uh, amazing sisters. And uh, she taught me from the very beginning that uh, the best path to a better future is through education that every one of us has an obligation to be a part of our community, not just passively, but actively, and that the very best thing you can do for another human being is to instill a sense of hope in their soul. And that's, that's what it's all about at the Odessa Brown Clinic. And you always stress the word resilient, that if, if patients come in and you believe in them and you build up their confidence that they are resilient and can withstand whatever comes at them. Yeah, and I would say these families are already really strong, really tough. They come in with a sense of optimism and strength and, and gifts and connectedness that's really powerful. Sometimes I feel like our job is just to kind of nurture that, cultivate it slightly, and then get out of the way and let them let them thrive. That's really what it's all about. So Odessa Brown has been sort of a centerpiece in the Seattle central area, but it's really, as you say, it's the whole community's clinic. Oh, no. Tell us why you feel that way. Well, our clinic was born out of this idea that was based on a community voice, a community task force, community action, really saying, we want a clinic that we feel is our own, that represents our community, that speaks to us, that creates this sense of respect and dignity. You're gonna hear me say dignity all night tonight because I think that this idea of really representing a community, especially a community that, that is often passed by in the important services that we should be providing, this chance to sort of fulfill an obligation to these families that are so deserving, so strong, so wonderful, so amazing. It, I'm cheating. I go to work, I get way more out of it. I get to go home and somebody pays me to do that. And I think, um, I don't know, it's, it's an incredible privilege to be part of that, that kind of a thing. And because there's a Dr. Ben and there are so many other great doctors and families and patients at Odessa Brown, we have big expansion plans to tell you about tonight and that's part of the reason we're here for the telethon. Big plans. Let's hear those phones ring and Jim, tell us who's called. Well, we have heard the phones ring. I think Dr. Ben's message of dignity for families, for children in our area, for the people who need us is definitely resonating. And in fact, one of our partners here in the community, um, Axia Home Loans, has just said that they will match $20,000 for the next five minutes. Your donations will be matched dollar for dollar by our friends at Axia for the next five minutes. So we've got the clock running. Now is the time to call. The number is 206-987-1061 or toll free 866-987-1061. You can also just text it to us on your phone. You just put in the, uh, the letters OBCC to the number 51555. A link will pop up. It's super easy. You just follow that link and you come right on through. As we mentioned, we have some celebrity friends here tonight. Let's go meet a couple of them out here. Come on, Jose, we're heading on out to the celebrity desk. Well, you know what, I don't know if I can even talk to them. They look a little busy thanks to you calling in. Tom Douglas, celebrity chef, look at him. He's not even cooking anything right now. He's just cooking up some donations. Margaret Larson from New Day Northwest is here. Yes, what was that, Tom? hundred bucks, a hundred bucks. That's great, can, can you give a first name there? Who gave that to us? Jean from Squim, Washington, a hundred bucks. It's always the people from Squim, isn't it? They are the givers, they give and they give. Here's Juan's, according to the song that he did with Macklemore, he only has $20 in his pocket, but he would like to pop some tags. So give him a call. He'll take your donation right now. I'm going to leave you guys alone so you can take some more calls, all right? So remember, the numbers to call, 206-987-1061 or toll free 866-987-1061 or just text it to us at 51555. Put in the letters OBCC. A link will pop up and it makes it oh so easy. Now, I think we're going to pass it back to Dr. Ben and to Gene. They have some exciting news about the future of OBCC. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim, and thanks everybody who's calling. We really appreciate your saying yes to kids. Well, the expansion plans now, let's take a look. We have a clinic in the central area, but much of the population we, move, we have served has moved south where they can afford the housing farther south of downtown Seattle. And the expansion plans will be possible with your help. Odessa Brown already serves about 40,000 patient family visits each year but with your help, we can do so much more, and we can do more than the existing clinic is doing 
by going upstream and trying to keep kids healthy, not just take care of sick kids. Right, Ben? That's so true. The image you're going to see on your screen really talks the, tells the story in a way that probably my words couldn't do as well. You really see where our clinic uh, was, is located and how poverty and low-income families were really closely uh, living, really nearby that clinic when I first started at the clinic almost 20 years ago. And today, poverty is really spread out so far south into South King County. Uh, you cannot afford to live in the neighborhood that's close to our clinic anymore. It's really changed quite a bit. And our obligation to these families, these low-income families and families from many different backgrounds, it's our obligation to make sure that we are there for them. This is a chance for us to sort of say that we are taking charge of what it means to be an important contributor to a community. We're not going to be relying on a lot of other decisions happening at some other place, some other Washington or some other source. <laughs> We are taking charge, and this is the piece that you get a, to be a part of. Get a part of being there for these families, no matter how far they've had to move from the Central District of Seattle. Building their futures, and in fact, building our whole community's future, because these kids are our future. Your kids, my kids, our kids are our community. I get so passionate about it, I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> yes, you can, because I'm going to ask you, what will this new clinic be able to do that the existing Odessa Brown hasn't been able to do so far? Well, our team has been really focusing on four concepts in building up this new clinic. One is that it's just going to be more care. We're going to be able to serve 21,000 more families through this clinic and the combination of that clinic and our, and our existing one. We're going to be doing better care. We're going to be really focusing on the kinds of things that our community is telling us they need the most, especially mental health services and how the mental health services integrate with medical services. We're going to be providing more connections to more partnerships and services throughout the community not just within our walls, but really out there in schools and community centers. Wherever kids go, that's where we're going to go and meet them. And we're going to be creating healthier spaces, better nutrition, better opportunities for play and physical activity, the kinds of things that really make the glue that help a child build the foundations for healthier futures. You see why it's such a great clinic? When we say growing wellness, we mean going upstream and finding out what makes kids sick and trying to prevent them from getting sick in the first place. Here's a look at what growing wellness at Odessa Brown means. When a family needs help, we can serve them in so many different ways. There really isn't anybody else in this neighborhood or in this general vicinity who's providing that care. When neighbors are in need, Dr. Shakita Bell is there. I love to be able to meet a family and hear about what's going on and to be able to help them. Oh, you have so many admirers. I came from a very similar community in Minnesota and when I walk in a room, I feel like I'm treating my sister and my nephew and my niece and I feel like I see those faces reflected in my patients. She you know, ask how I'm doing, um, anything new like in our lives, and um, you know, she'll ask about my job and how things are going with that. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Crazy. Most of us live near or in the community that we serve or came from this community. Dr. Bell's job extends well beyond routine checkups. I bet you can do it. Treating children and supporting families. The Odessa Brown Clinic also promotes wellness through dental services, mental health, and nutrition. All of those things in one building is such an amazing asset for people to just come to one place and get all their needs met. For this doctor, it's a dream job. I get filled up by those little kids' smiles. It's really rare for people to wake up and want to go to work, and I'm really lucky that I get to work in a place where we all feel that way. That's priceless. So we're, we're joined now by Chiquita Bell, the doctor, a pediatrician at Odessa Brown. So tell us about your background, Chiquita, and how it informs your work at Odessa Brown. Well, Jean, um, as a black woman and as a native woman, I really appreciate the ability to walk into a clinic room and take care of patients that reflect my own family. It's really important to me to give back to a community like the one that I came from and to teach little girls and little boys what they could be with their lives, that science is wonderful, that medicine is wonderful, and how they can live nice and healthy lives. There's a theme that kind of runs through this program tonight that says you've got to be healthy as a child in order to be able to learn and to grow and to be a productive adult. Is that education component a big part of how doctors at Odessa Brown operate? 
Yeah, I think, you know, as part of the unique thing that we do at Odessa is we meet families where they're at. We're part of the community. We want to hear what their needs are, but we also don't require people to, to, um, to need things in order to be offered things. So we like to have everything available to everybody. So if it's mental health, if it's dental visits, um, and part of the new vision for our next clinic are things like moving spaces and gardens and thinking about education and all the things that help kids be healthy. Moving spaces, like if they can't join a team at school, they can find an exercise program at Odessa Brown yeah. that will help them grow physically. Yeah, one of the things I love about working at Odessa is that I live in the community that I serve and I see the kids that I take care of at Rainier Beach Pool when I go swimming and they have their their swimming lessons and it's so wonderful to be able to be a part of that movement and uh, those activities but also a part of that community. Again that theme that Odessa Brown is very much a part of the community and the community feels that. Yeah, yeah and we really want our second uh, clinic to come from their wishes and what they're telling us. They As want. it will in South Seattle. Dr. Yeah. Bell thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. So Jim back to you how's it going? It's going great in here. There's so much activity and that's wonderful. The phones are ringing. These uh, volunteers have been doing a fantastic job taking in. St. Brian just took a $500 donation over the phone just a couple of minutes ago. Matched twice. That's fantastic. We've got uh, our friends from Delta Airlines are here with us. You know, Delta has been a huge supporter. In fact, for the next two minutes, Delta will match your donations up to $5,000. And that's the guy. This guy right here is going to personally take it out of his wallet and give it to us. All you have to do is pick up your phone, 206-987-1061. We'll get you through here. Or toll-free, 866-987-1061. The easy way to do it is to text it. Just text OBCC to the number 51555. All of these donations go to some of that great work that you're hearing about that Odessa Brown Children's Clinic does in the community for people who need it, regardless of whether they can pay or not. They take care of families. That's what they're doing, and you're helping us take care of families in our area, and we couldn't be more grateful. Also, you can go online to the web directly to... Um, to what's the number? Oh, uh, give to dot seattlechildrens dot org slash obcc special. So, like I said, the, the uh, clock is running. Get your calls in right now. Oh, I got the clock. T Hall, T Hall has got the clock I'm going. Here. Where are we? We've got about another minute, right? We got about a whole another minute. Okay, you better hurry so, up and call. So there's one more minute. You got to call right now and. Delta is going to match that right up to five thousand dollars. So I don't think we've hit that yet. So. Your dollar becomes $2 over the next uh, 45 seconds or so. So make sure you phone in with that. Um, yeah, you're going to turn your 25 bucks into 50 Now, here's the thing. A lot of companies in our area will match dollar for dollar all the time. Any donation you want to make. And uh, if, you're, if you work for Microsoft or Boeing or Nordstrom or Starbucks, they will match what you give tonight dollar for dollars. So be sure if you are an employee of any of those companies and a lot of other companies as well in our area that you get your donations in and you make sure that uh, you get those matched as well to add a little more leverage to your giving. So it's wonderful to hear the phones ringing and see all the money coming in. Sending it back to you guys. All right, Jim, again, that number is 206-987-1061. We thank you for calling, and we thank you for saying yes to kids. And if you haven't called yet, if you're on the fence, please help us say yes to kids. Odessa Brown, if the rest of the country could hear about it, would know what a shining star it is in our city. It has a long and proud history. Take a look at who was Odessa Brown. Odessa Brown lived in Chicago during the Depression. Quality health care was hard to come by. At one visit to a Chicago area hospital, she was turned away because she couldn't pay. Brown reportedly said to the staff, I'm black and poor, but I will leave in peace so I can keep my dignity. Fast forward to the height of the 60s civil rights era when Odessa Brown was raising her four children in Seattle. She became a community organizer and fought to bring quality health care with dignity to children in Seattle's central area. Odessa Brown died in 1969 at the age of 49, but her advocacy brought the necessary federal money to Seattle to open a children's clinic, and it was named in Odessa Brown's memory.
Growing Wellness, an Odessa Brown Children's Clinic and Seattle Children's Special, is sponsored by Seattle Children's Hospital. What can we do to help reduce inequities for kids? Whenever a, a family comes here who does not speak English, we provide an interpreter for them. We also provide a cultural navigator who speaks their language and can also interpret some of the culturally specific things to care. And that person helps us understand where the family's coming from and the family to understand where we're coming from. I think you're really starting to see why uh, we're actually in the business of hope, the business of building hope in our community at the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. And there's no better way to really understand that than to hear it from the families we serve themselves, don't you think? I think that's absolutely true. We're here with a wonderful family, Foxy Davison, her husband Jason, and Judah and Zion and Trinity. Trinity, you have something that you want to say and something you want to do, don't you? I have a dollar. And what are you going to do with it? Give it to Dr. Bit. Oh, Aww. how wonderful! <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice. Wow. So that is amazing. <laughs> That's the kind of community I get to work with. That's really wonderful. What Thank would you, you so like much. to say, Judah, about your trips to Odessa Brown? Um, they they treat us like we're friends, uh, like we're family, instead of just trying to help us. They they help us, but they try and uh, be. They invite you to their uh, to be their friend, and they be uh, friendly. They're like they're like family. And they they super care about you. Yes, they care yeah. about us. Foxy, what about you? Um, I think as a parent, it's just been great to be able to bring my kids to a place. So two of our kids have sickle cell disease, and we also see them for primary care and the dentist. So to be like a one-stop shop, and like Judah said, they really treat us like family. Jason? Yeah, I mean, the clinic has meant so much to us over the, the years. And, uh, you know, we used to live in the Central District a couple blocks away, but um, we've had to move further south and so the the neighborhood has changed it's been heartbreaking to see but um, we're so glad that there's an opportunity for a, a further southern clinic uh, to continue the legacy of Odessa Brown so it means a lot to us. And Zion I want to hear from you too what would you like to say about the clinic? Um, I think they take time to really get to know you and, and they really care about you and make sure that you get better and they really make sure they really care about you getting better. Mm -hmm. Anything else your family would like to say, maybe why the community should know more about Odessa Brown or why the community should support the clinic? I guess I'd just say in a time in which we're talking about feeling divided, um, this is a great way to feel united. Um, we need p places like Odessa Brown, not just in the CD, but further south. We need Odessa Browns all over the city. So I know for people who are feeling like, what can I do? This is a great cause to give to, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited you said that. I feel the same way. Last word? Yeah, uh, just echo what Foxy said. It's a practical way to help support a community that um, is overlooked and is, is being pushed out of the city. And so this is a way to give back and to support that community and that they can stay here and be resilient. So, well, I want to thank you, all of you, Judah and Zion and Trinity and Mom and Dad. What a beautiful thank family. You. And I thank wish you, you good so health much. and happiness. And to all of you, you see what Odessa Brown produces and how much they help, how much they actually love the patients Odessa Brown serves. Dr. Ben, the very last word. Uh, <laughs> that just makes me want to show up tomorrow in the clinic and work even harder to try to live up to the kind of, the kind of qualities that your, your family represents. I'm just so honored to be part of your family in a way. So let's hear who wants to match the dollar that Trinity gave to Dr. Ben and Odessa Brown. Let's hear those phones ring, Jim. That's going out oh, yeah. to my office, by we, the way. I'm just do we have like, enough phones ringing, you guys? No, they want more. They always want more. We're a little greedy that way. And I'll tell you, those success stories like the one you heard there really do inspire us to want to answer as many calls as we can tonight from you to help the other families out in our community. And uh, Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, my goodness, you can hear um, the passion in uh, Dr. Ben's voice. You know that... Uh, the folks there really do care about the people in the community. And now let me tell you somebody else who cares. Safeway Albertsons, for the next two minutes, is going to match 
up to $5,000. Now that should be incentive enough for you to pick up the phone and call 206-987-1061. I hope you will uh, pick up the phone toll free, 866-987-1061, or you can just text it to us, text OBCC to 51555 and make your donation immediately. We can't wait to get all these phones ringing. We're going to jam, we're going to take down the internet tonight with so many people sending in their donations to Odessa Brown Children's Clinic to help them, uh, to help support the work that you've heard throughout the night. And you're going to be hearing some more great stories as well. Let's take a quick break and we'll be right back. Caleb was born with a severe digestive condition with no known cure. Our specialized knowledge of his rare disorder saved his life. And today, he's proof that when you say yes to Seattle Children's, we can say yes to providing hope for kids every day. See what your yes can do at seattlechildrens.org slash yes. Hope. Care. Cure. <laughs> once again, once again, the phone number to dial is 206-987-1061. Now let's take a look at uh, what else Odessa Brown Children's Clinic is up to. Go, 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 as hard as you can. This might look like any other soccer practice. Nice shot. But the kids at this South Seattle field are learning skills that go far beyond the pitch. We decided to use soccer as a platform to teach social emotional skills. Head up. Mark Fadul is the clinical director at the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. He developed this program with the help of the Rainier Vista Boys and Girls Club and the Nolan Premier Soccer Academy. The original need was for mental health support, but we figured that kids, one, they want to have fun, two, being active is really good for their brains. The goal is to not just build better soccer players, but better people. Everybody bring it in to Coach Mark and I. Today's reflection is complimenting your teammates. When you're playing today, I want you to think about how can you compliment your teammates, right? This is how we build positive culture, and this is what we stand for. Through this program, Mark has been able to reach kids like 11-year-old Yadidia, who sometimes struggles keeping his emotions in check. This is where your frustration kills you. You're not helping your teammates. You just kicked it to another team, to the other team, and you stood on this side of the field instead of going and go, getting it, right? It's not, it's not terrible. You're gonna learn, right? Go have fun. So it's like helping me in the classroom, like trying to interact with other people, but I'm still kind of working on that, trying to get better. Oh, I think it's essential, especially these days. We see more and more kids um, really wrestling with anxiety and depression. And if we don't do this type of work, it's only going to get worse in our area. This is a type of programming that is innovative and uh, really handles a lot of the, the stressors. It's nice to have people that like don't care about like how much money they're getting or like how much we need to pay or anything. They just care about developing us as human beings. Every, everyone seems to be benefiting. Families have come up to, to us saying thank you so much. It's a free program, so it's high quality soccer that's absolutely free with a social emotional component. How good is that? This is great. We have this amazing opportunity right now to uh, have a moment with a couple of really great people and just reminding me what it really means to say that play is actually medicine, that play is healing, that play is a restorative practice that is part of the future of Odessa Brown Clinic. So I have with me right now Adam Nolan, who's a founder of NPSA Foundation, and my colleague, my brother, my family member at the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, Mark Fadul. And I'm just I'm so amazed by this program and what you've been able to accomplish in a short time. What's, uh, what's the origin story? Tell me about how you got this program going. Well, thank you, Ben. Uh, several years ago, uh, the director of the Rainier Valley um, Vista Boys and Girls Club asked if we could provide some mental health support right. uh, to the kids. They see so many children. They do such a great job. And I said, sure, let's talk about it. So that was one of the key things is let's keep that conversation going. We didn't know what it would look like. We had no idea, 
about the program, the way it looks right now. But then what ended up happening was this unfoldment of knowing that there was a need for mental health support, right. knowing that there's no way that we have as many counselors as that can fit the need, and yet they have a beautiful soccer pitch, yeah. beautiful soccer pitch and a bunch of children and kids that want to play. And so what we figured out was we would try, uh, have a trial soccer program and see if we would get the kids out. Oh boy, did we get the kids out. Yeah. They ran, they laughed, they had a ball. And then we also realized that we could, we could infuse social emotional skills into high level soccer. What ended up happening at that point was it was so popular that I needed support. And I heard about Adam and his foundation and the values of MPSA fit so perfectly with the Boys and Girls Club and the Desa of Brown. Wow. Open access, high quality, and so therefore we've teamed up. So it's MPSA, Boys and Girls Club, and Odessa Brown, and we have an amazing social emotional wellness program that's really that's a beautiful. soccer program. That's beautiful. The ingredients all came together, the opportunity, and you found a way to pull something together. I mean, Adam, what does it mean to you? What, what inspires you to be a part of this program, and how do you see it from your perspective? Well, when I was uh, growing up in England, uh, soccer was a great outlet for me. Uh, taught me some valuable life skills, uh, discipline, respect, teamwork. Um, and the biggest thing I learned when I came over to the States is accessibility to high quality soccer wasn't really, really there. So starting this program, that was the main concern for me, making it accessible, making it high quality, uh, and giving these kids uh, an opportunity to get the same outlet that I had when I was a kid. Oh, that's lovely. Pulling your own story and, and really sort of paying it forward in this way is, is powerful. I wanted to hear from one of you about just Bring this to life for me. Show it, tell me about an experience or a way that is really, you've seen this uh, really become a, a, a productive and amazing project. Well, I think we have many examples and we have them every weekend at the Boys and Girls Club. But one specific one was there's a young man that I've known for a while and he loves playing soccer. And he has, he's had a challenge with his emotional regulation skills. He has low frustration tolerance, which means he gets angry and blows up often. This has gotten in the way of his academic yeah. right yeah. achievements, it's gotten in the way of making friends, and through uh, this program and other things, but especially this program, what's happened is he goes back to school, some of the kids in his school, in his class, also are part of our program, and they will kind of remind him, remember last Saturday on the soccer pitch when we talked about breathing? Remember kind of talking about changing your thoughts, right? You're not bad if you make a mistake, and sure enough, he is achieving wonderfully and he's going into the HCC program, which is a high achiever program wow. in school. And that, wow. that's, we are part of the equation and yet all the support he's received in his life is a big part also. That's amazing. And I wish, I wish we could talk a lot more about this. That's just an incredible story and an incredible example. I know uh, President Obama said, you know, this is the time for all of us to lace up and get in the game. And I appreciate that you were like, doing this in such a real and meaningful way for this community. Now, I think we have to throw it back to Jim, but I just want to thank you so much for what you're doing for the kids and for their futures in this, in this important time. Thank you, really appreciate it. Thank you. thank you. Over to you, Jim. Some incredible staff at Odessa Brown Children's Clinic and some incredible supporters in the community. Those are the people, you are the people lighting up these phones tonight. You know, the King Five Evening people always turn everything into a competition. And Kim, Golden Girl Kim Holcomb over there, wave to everybody, Kim. She just pulled in, I think, the winning amount out of the King Five Evening group, $1,000. Yeah. That was one phone call. Now, you don't have to give $1,000. You can give... 10,000 if you want. No, you can give you 50 bucks, 25, we will take it. Uh, I don't want to sound desperate, but I'm a little desperate. You know that. Uh, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call 206-987-1061 or toll free 866-987-1061 or text OBCC to the number 51555. Now let's pass it back to Dr. Ben and Jean with a very special guest. <laughs> Three times Hall of Famer, <laughs> coach of the U.S. Olympic basketball team. Tell it. Yeah. Tell it all. Yeah, yeah right. right. I mean, that's what attracts people. All right. Well, I'm just having such a great time talking to Lenny Wilkins here that I forgot to introduce him. <laughs> this is a hero in our local community, Lenny Wilkins, who's a three-time Hall of Famer. Yes, let's have a big round of applause. Round of applause for Lenny. Thank you. Coach Thank you. of the winningest basketball team we've ever had in Seattle. And I can hear the phones ringing right now. Yeah. Coach of the U.S. Olympic team. 
But the real reason you're a hero here tonight, Lenny, is you are so supportive of Odessa Brown. Your foundation really supports Odessa Brown in everything it does. Why are you such a fan of Odessa Brown? Well, I learned very early. Uh, my, my dad died when I was five years old, so my mother used to always say to us, you know, that uh, you got to get out there and make a difference, and you got to be involved in the community. And when I first came here as a player and then a coach, uh, I realized what this community was all about. And there were two ladies, I have to mention them all the time. I mean, I, because I think they were so important to this community. One was a gal by the name of Freddie Mae Gauthier, mm -hmm. and the other one was Toby Burton. And they got me involved with the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. And I met Dr. Blanche Levizio. Mm -hmm. And when I went through the clinic and I saw her. Who was the head of the clinic, right? She, she was the first medical director. Right. And she said that we had to do health care with dignity. And that was her phrase. And, and I so much agreed with her. When I saw how the young people reacted, uh, how they were moved, you know, I began to realize that, yeah, you know, we have to encourage our young people, okay, because they're tomorrow's leaders, tomorrow's doctors, lawyers, TV announcers, athletes, Basketball politicians, coaches, coaches <laughs> whatever. But they're our future. And so uh, if we encourage them, to let them know that they can make a difference and that we're there for them, okay, then they become more inspired. What would you like to tell people about the reason they should join you tonight? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think the, the reason is that uh, we're a part of this community. We want this community to be successful. Mm -hmm. And these are our, our young people. Mm -hmm. And I say that, I, I really mean that. Absolutely. They're, they're, they're the young people that we are sending to school, that we're mm -hmm. encouraging to take the next step, mm -hmm. and they have to. And, and look how Seattle has grown since I've been here. Yeah. I mean, all the big companies are here, they're employing these young people, and these young people are the ones who make a difference. So, you know, your community is very important. You want your community to grow, you want your commu community to make a difference, then you need to encourage the young people that they should step out there. Future and leaders like Lenny, like, like Ben. <laughs> yeah, and you've been coming and showing up at that clinic for, for 45 years now. And you've made an incredible uh, contribution financially, but it's really your presence and what you symbolize to generations of families that really makes such a difference in that well, clinic. Well, I, I, I want these young people to see that they, they do make a difference, okay? And they can make a difference. And so uh, it's, it's my community. Yeah. I'm part of this community. Yeah. Yeah. You know, th this has become our home. Mm -hmm. And so we want to give back. And, and I think the, the best way is that when you're a part of something, you can see it grow. You can see the difference that it's making. So Lenny, the reason I put on my team t-shirt is <laughs> you've said yes to kids. Mm -hmm. You've said yes to kids, both of you, for a long time. If you want to support Odessa Brown, you say yes to kids, too. For those of you who've already said yes, thank you. We've got a few minutes left in this telethon, and we want you to say yes to kids, too. Absolutely. Lenny Wilkins, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, you know, we talk about all the things that happen in one little clinic, medical and dental as part of it, as well as mental health. Let's take a look at the dental program at Odessa Brown. <laughs> Open. Really? Good job. Most people hate going to the dentist. So this is my air. Tavi knows what that's like. See? That's how it works, okay? Which is why she loves trying to make trips to the dentist a bright and happy time for kids. Are you still nervous? Uh -uh. See? You're doing so good. But for the team at Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, caring for these smiles can still lead to some pain. Little children have 20 teeth. I've pulled 18 teeth on a less than two year old before because of rampant decay. I'm a career community health dentist and I find this heartbreaking. I'm not tough and resolute, I'm, I, it's heartbreaking. That's why Dr. Jennings and her team have a mission, to give kids the dental care their families can't afford. Alexis is just one of up to 75 kids seen here every day. Health equity is important here. Not everybody has a fair seat at the table, and so we want to make sure that, that we level the playing field and that everyone's welcome. 
The clinic goes a long way to make this feel like home, but this home is overdue for upgrades. Our chairs are old. Uh, everything we do have is a little bit old and patched. We want some more technology. We have paper charts, which is horrifying in the, the, the medical world. What they lack in resources, they make up for with passion. So you can use these at home too, okay? It helps your teeth. I just like helping people in general, so just seeing the kids smile and the parents happy just to give them help and everything. But for Tavi, it's more than giving back to her patients and her community. It's about giving back to the team that helped her because she used to sit in these same chairs. Two of the assistants I remember when I was a kid, they actually still work here, so it's kind of it's kind of different seeing them like, oh, they used to work in my mouth, now I'm working with them. I'm one of those people who think if you were blessed with something, you should share it. And so this is the opportunity for me to share. This is a golden opportunity for me to share. This is an opportunity to help somebody that's going to be direct patient care. And it's important to, to share. It makes you feel good, and it, it really eases people's burden. It's not an equal world, and I think we have to help each other. You know, over the course of this show, I just can't help uh, reminding myself of this quote I heard from Miriam Wright Edelman, who is the head of the Children's Defense Fund. She said something like, um, the prospect of hope that we have for our own children is shaped by the way we treat other people's children. And I think that is the strongest statement about community without actually using the word community I've ever heard. And it just feels right for what we're trying to do here at the Odessa Brown Clinic. So I always think of it as your children, my children, and all of our children. That's what Lenny said, I think. And yeah. one of them is here right now. This is Isaac, and he's with his mom, Sprout. And they saw that we were having a telethon. And Isaac and Sprout feel so strongly about Odessa Brown that they wanted to come down and be part of it. Right, Isaac? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what would you like to say about Dr. Ben? Well, I think he's, well, he's a great guy who wears two watches, you know, what can I say? How can you not love him? He's a pretty good guy. He's been, you know, I've known him for about 11 years now, and yeah. And you once told me he's kind of like a dad to you. Yeah, kind of, yeah. He makes sure I'm healthy, you know. Yeah. He's looking over me. And he boxes your ears? <laughs> I take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> So Sprout, what does the Odessa Brown Clinic mean to you as a mom who's brought Isaac to the clinic for a long time? They're, they're really an extension of our family. Um, I, Isaac came to me as a foster child and I needed to get him into the doctor and on a Monday morning I called Odessa Brown and they said, can you come in on Wednesday? And we've been going, that was 11 years ago. And so they've taken care of Isaac and in extension me for the last 11 years and it's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's what they mean by family visit. Absolutely. Yeah. So Ben, what is this relationship with Isaac that you have? What does it mean to you and Isaac? You know, I said earlier about how um, for those of us who work at the clinic, we actually gain so much more than we ever end up giving in our work. And I've learned so much about what it means to honorably travel through young life and into young adult life. Uh, by watching this young man grow up. I have so much respect for you, and um, I just, I appreciate our chance to sort of know each other in a way that's it's extremely special. Yeah. I don't know how much that has to do with stethoscopes and prescription pads. <laughs> if people and heard what we talked about, and the ordering probably, the shots and stuff. Ordering yeah. the shots, yeah. All of that is, that's one thing. But yeah. it's the time that we get to spend together that's just really special for me, and I just want to thank you for letting me grow as I've watched you grow. Thank you. Sprout, any more that you'd like to say about Odessa Brown? And I just hope everyone calls in <laughs> and, and, uh, and supports the clinic because it's meant so much to us and to so many other families. Wow, right. Sprout doing our job for us. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Thank you. Isaac and Sprout, thank you. And next time I see you, like the last time it was here, and next time I see you, it's going to be up here, right? Taller than Dr. Ben one. <laughs> yeah, well, go for it. Yeah. Go I for already it. look up to you. So. And you go for it, too. Let's hear your calls. Jim? I, I know the mom's name is Sprout, but I think the way Isaac is growing, that should be his nickname. He's obviously being well taken care of by Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. And, you know, your hearts are so big out there in the community tonight. Catherine Chang of Expedia heard that I was desperate to get these phones ringing, and she called in. And she said Expedia is going to give us $5,000. And they promised to also help us out next year in a big way, too. So a big thank you to everyone at Expedia. Now, right now, we also have another matching uh, donation from Axia Home Loans, $5,000. Now, over the next two minutes, 
everything that comes in here, every call that comes in here will be matched by Axia Home Loans up to $5,000. There we go. So let's get the phones ringing. Here's how you do it. You, you pick up the phone. You dial the phone, it's 206-987-1061, or toll free, 866-987-1061, and these phones will start ringing. You might end up talking to St. Brian from the King Five Evening Show, or you might end up talking, if you're, if you're luckier than that, you'll end up talking to Kim Holcomb from, from Evening, or maybe even the king of King Five Evening, Michael King, right there. He, uh, he's got, why do you have something in your ear? Because it's loud. It's what? It's loud, so we because everyone's on the phones. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over all the phones. Yeah, he's got he's got to have a little bit of ear protection because the phones are going to ring. So, you know what? They're not ringing right now. I know why. Because you're listening to me. I know. I know it's rivi riveting, very riveting. So, how much longer do we have on that Axia match? One minute. One more minute on the Axia match. Up to five thousand dollars. My goodness. Get these phones ringing. Get these phones ringing. We've got all of our friends from Delta Airlines over here. Look at them. Aren't they attractive? Aren't they attractive? Do you do you fly planes or do you maintain planes or do you, all the above? Is it? Is that what you do? Okay. So uh, another quick way to do it is just text five one five 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 one and then three fives after that. Put in O B C C. A link will pop up. It's super easy. It'll tell you exactly how to how to get your donation into us and do some great work for the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic and your fellow community members. They're doing such amazing work, just like our phone volunteers here. We're going to toss to a quick break and see you on the other side. What is the mission of Odessa Brown Children's Clinic? It was born out of this wonderful idea to really help empower communities in promoting the health of their children. Regardless of their socioeconomic status, people are working together to unravel mysteries of the early roots of behavior problems. That's the kind of stuff that I think we can make a big impact on. It's impossible not to be optimistic at a clinic like Odessa Brown. The Odessa Brown Clinic has partnerships all over the community, and one way we build that strength throughout the community is not just the great recommendations from the patients and families, but the guilds that are very, very strong and build support for Odessa Brown, too. So let's take a look at a couple of the members of an Odessa Brown Guild, Mickey Flowers and Cynthia Huffman, who are co-chairs of one of the Odessa Brown Guilds. So tell us about what the guilds do. The guilds are the largest all-volunteer fundraising network of any hospital in the country. Wow. So a guild can raise money for any cause, and of course Mickey and I, for the Friends of Odessa Ch Brown Children's Clinic Guild, have chosen the clinic to support. Of course you have. Yes. <laughs> so why, did, why do each of you support Odessa Brown? I think for me, it's I've been a member of that community for years, and I have been involved in the clinic on an advisory board, but also, I've been inside the clinic and seen the great things that happen there. So I support the clinic because of the great dedicated staff. I mean, they work tirelessly. It really uh, comes through. It really comes through. And so you want to support them because sometimes they're doing a lot with fewer resources. So they need our support. The terrific family we just saw in the Davis Sons, you see so many of those families there. They're amazing and they're doing everything they can to make sure that their children are well and when the children and the family are well in a community the community is vital another reason to support and I think that the reason that really resonates with me is that for families that are really struggling they don't have all the resources they need they need a safety net and Odessa Brown is that safety net and we want that net to be strong we want it to be inclusive and we want it to endure. And that's going to take advocacy, and that is going to take financial support. And that's so what the call in. Do. That's what the guilds do. And Cynthia, why do you support Odessa Well, Brown? I'm a big believer in integrated care, I think, doing mental health, physical health, dental care, supporting the whole family is critical to the health of, of children and families. You can't treat one without the other. Uh, but also, you know, the hospital's mission is that we provide hope, care, and cures to help every child live their healthiest and most fulfilling life. 
and we do sure. that for when we do that for every child and every family, especially the most vulnerable, the families that Odessa Brown serves. We're really investing in our community. So I ask everybody to invest in our community. In other words, say yes, yes. to Odessa <laughs> yes. Brown. You both have said yes to Odessa Brown. We right? have. As yes. a matter of fact, what we'd like to do tonight, if we can, we're going to yes. pull our resources and match. Every $50 gift up to $1,000, so call in now and wow. have your gift yes. go twice as far. Yes. Thank we you. Our You're guild welcome. members are listening. Yes, <laughs> guild members listen. Yeah. And everybody who's listening, you can join in too. Yes, Absolutely. everybody Thank can you. join That's the fun. Very generous. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. So Cynthia and Mickey Flowers, uh, big supporters of Odessa Brown, and one of the reasons, as Cynthia said, is the great mental health programs at Odessa Brown. Take a look. Sayer Washington was a little kid with big problems. His parents had just split up, and there was so much more. My mom had cancer around the time that my dad was in jail. My dad went to jail actually on my 11th birthday. On your very birthday? Yeah. He remembers turmoil at school and confusion at home. I was going to have more responsibilities and having to grow up like kind of on my own. He was probably anxious and just kind of wondering, you know, how to make out different things and how life would probably turn out for him. Marissa saw the stress and asked Sayer's pediatrician for help. He directed them to Odessa Brown's mental health services. Counselor Mark Fadul knew right away Sayer stood at a crucial turning point. The young kid in elementary school that is acting out because of all this pain Importantly, the clinic puts no time limit on mental and emotional support for kids, seeing their young patients through whatever they face. Lots of kids are put in situations where, um, whether there's trauma, right, violence, drug abuse, um, food insecurity, housing insecurity, these are all the things that we see every day here. With Mark, Sayer found a safe place to express and examine his emotions. He would keep asking me to tell him about it, to talk to him about it, let my emotions come out. That outlet and the decision-making tools Sayer gained with Mark have turned into success at school and as a football player at O'Day. He's protected a classmate from bullying, built new friendships, and become even closer with his mom. She just keeps telling me that she's proud of me for just getting on the right track and fighting, even though all the stuff that's happened to me, she just, that's what she tells me every day, that she's just proud of me. What makes you proud? Um, oh, you're gonna make me cry. Um, just kind of like how selfless he is. I mean, you know, you noticed it, and it's because he always thinks of other people before himself, and I love that about him. So you've already met one of the mental health counselors for Odessa Brown, Mark Fadul, and he's here again to talk about the importance of this second clinic, a bigger clinic farther south that can address some of the mental health needs that in our community are now going unmet. Right, Mark? That's absolutely right, Jean. So I think uh, we have learned an awful lot through the years of doing this. Uh, ben and I have been at the clinic for around 19, 20 years, and one thing we've realized is the power of humility. Um, we are humble. We are inquisitive, so we always want to learn and get and make sure our programs are improving. And with that has come a number of things. One, we want to go upstream. As Ben said, it's all about dignity. And if doors are closed to you, especially when you're having problems with your little ones, that's not dignified. So we really have put a lot of emphasis in making sure our programs, mental health programs, are intertwined with primary care services. What this does is it destigmatizes mental health and it's really preventative in many ways because lots of families need a little support early on and then we might not need to see them when their kids are 12, 13, 14. That's fantastic. So a new clinic would do what for mental health um, treatment for kids in our community? Um, just as Ben said, we'll be able to see a, a lot more. Um, I think access is a huge issue and especially being right next to the light rail station at Othello and Martin Luther King, that's going to be fantastic. I also think it um, allows us to build a brand new building that really supports integration. Right now, even though the mental health offices are right across the hall from primary care and our dental, 
it's not it's it's not good enough. We can do better, and we can do better by redesigning the space for we families. We can do better with your help, Mark Bedul. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Jim. Take it away. All right, I have uh, two words to say: Safeway Albertsons. For the next two minutes, they will match up to five thousand dollars. Yes. Our friends at Safeway and Albertsons will match up to $5,000 over the next two minutes. Let's go meet some celebrities. By the way, phone in 206-987-1061. That's one way to do it. Another, and you, who knows? You might end up talking to Tom Douglas. This is, this is the most famous chef that I know, and he may be the most famous chef that you get to talk to tonight. Tom, have you had, uh, had a good time meeting some of the people over the phone? I have. We've had everyone from somebody who was sad that they couldn't afford to donate anything to a woman who donated $1,000. So I gave her a gift card to one of my restaurants. Oh, <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> Well, that's great. Now, are we going to promise everyone who phones in a gift card to one of your restaurants? Everyone who phones in and gets me, uh -huh. uh, I will give a $100 gift card to one of my restaurants. You're not kidding. Or over $1,000. You're not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay. Let's do that. Call Tom Douglas right now. He looks I'm awfully. Phone 31. Phone 31. Ask for phone 31. I don't know if you can do that or not, but he looks so lonely right now and so eager. Margaret Larson from New Day, all she does is talk all day on TV, and now all she's doing is talking all night long to everyone who's phoning in and so generously donating. And then Wands, the great Wands, Michael Wansley. Oh, I don't want to get, he's saying, I think he's saying a phone number right now. He's about to put the microphone in his face. That wouldn't be good. Also, um, also uh, text, that's the easiest way to do it, 51555. Uh, you just text in the letters. OBCC and it'll take you right to the donation page. It's very easy. Well, one of the nurses at Odessa Brown Children's Clinic knows that one of the best way to keep kids fit or to keep them healthy is to keep them fit, to keep them active. And uh, she's got a really unusual way of doing it. From handstands to cartwheels and trapeze, kids do it all at Seattle's School of Acrobatics and New Circus Arts, also known as Sanka. They're building a strong foundation for a lifetime of healthy physical activity. An important goal for Joe Montgomery, who's been a nurse practitioner at Odessa Brown Children's Clinic for the last 27 years. I was working with so many kids at Odessa Brown that did not have access to exercise. Joe helped open Sanka in 2004 with just five students. Today, 900 kids a week come here. 20% of them on scholarship. Because I've been with children so long, I thought, well, of course, if they can't afford to pay, we will, of course, provide scholarships. And Children's has helped support the school every year since we've opened. Nine years ago, Joe took on a new challenge when a patient's mother asked Joe to work with her wheelchair-bound son. I feel like together, we figured out how to make things work for him. From there, Joe has worked with lots of kids with emotional and physical challenges, including Renee Munoz, who's blind. I asked the parents what sort of exercise he was doing, and they looked at me strangely, and I said, you know, he's, he's healthy, he's, he's active, able to be active, he just doesn't see. But how do you teach a child to do a handstand when they can't watch the instructor do it first, or do a cartwheel? when they can't grasp the concept of flipping themselves upside down. Sure, there's some special attention uh, for spotting and maybe explaining. Straight legs, reach out far. I feel like their activities are only limited by the imagination of the instructor. It's, yeah, she encourages me, gives comments on what I could do better. Oh yeah, that was all by yourself. That was beautiful. Senka has become a second family for many of the students. Senka has just been this amazing community throughout my life. Naomi Martini came to Sanka eight years ago as part of a therapy camp to help strengthen the right side of her body, which was left weakened after suffering a stroke at birth. She's been hooked ever since. I always say I stepped into Neverland because it was so amazing. Now she's Joe's assistant coach, teaching kids with her same disability. And what was really cool about it was I kind of got, I fell in love with Finca all over again because they were right where I was. <laughs> There's a self-confidence that comes with being able to do skills. And so a kid that learns how to do a handstand or learns how to juggle a little bit or can do some tricks on a trapeze is going to feel more confident in every aspect of their life. 
So Ben, okay. just, last word. I'm just so glad that uh, you all have had a chance to have a little window into the kind of work that we do at the Odessa Brown Clinic and this amazing community we get to serve and why I have the best job in the world working with wonderful people and on behalf of amazing families. I hope that really moves you to contribute, to keep calling, to keep supporting our clinic, and I just want to thank everybody who's put so much into this. Keeping the phone lines open, keep donating. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for saying yes to kids. Growing Wellness, an Odessa Brown Children's Clinic and Seattle Children's Special is Hello, Facebook fans. Thanks for joining us. And um, I hope you're here to say yes to kids. Thank you if you've already said yes. And if you're on the fence, please do say yes to kids to help us build the new and much needed Odessa Brown Clinic farther south from the existing clinic in the central area. We should remind people that the phone lines are still open. The website will still take your donations right through the night, right into tomorrow. Tell us right about the phone tomorrow. line. So it's the, written on the wall. The, Tell the, us about the website. We still have Five thousand dollars, and and we've already gotten up over sixty-six thousand. Well, let's push us Last over the I top. Heard, we push might over the we top. might be closing into seventy thousand right now, as far as so I know. So call two zero six nine eight seven one zero six. I've been saying it all night. I know it. Ready? Watch. Watch my memory. Watch this. Okay. Ironclad memory. Two zero six. 987-1061. Exactly. How'd I do? Call that number or you could text. Text OBCC to 51555. Five, five, five. Very good. Yes. Very good. Um, and then we also have the really unique and very short, easy to remember URL. Which, which is, is give to dot dot org slash OBCC special. Excellent. Said that a few times, it couldn't be any easier. I don't know. I don't know how we can make that any easier. Okay. Reasons to give? I uh, got to visit so many kids this morning, a future president, two future doctors, three future teachers, and they all need you to make sure that those dreams come true. Absolutely. And we need you to help us build a new second Odessa Brown Clinic in South Seattle. Won't that be exciting? You so know, please say yes. Please say yes to kids. <laughs> it starts with yes, right? You know, it's dangerous to wear that shirt just around on the street, though. Like people, you could be saying yes to anything. You don't no, know what I, you're saying yes to. I do. I'm yeah, saying yes to kids. In this context, I, it's okay. Yeah. And just be yes careful to when you Odessa get out. Brown. Yeah, but when you get outside, you might want to just go back to the. No, I'm going to wear it all the time, Jim, and say, "Have you said okay. yes to kids yet? Have you said yes to kids yet?" I can't she's, believe I'm working with these two. She's got know. the message, it's messaging down, though, doesn't she? <laughs> she is on message right through the night. Did you have any uh, pleasant surprises through your night? I know we did over in the in the phone booth there. What was one of the them? phone booth area? The phone. Pleasant surprise. What do you call that kid, area? It's like Isaac shows up. He knew yeah. we were having a telethon. He heard about it. He said, I want to come we get, and say something great about the clinic. Yeah, and you can see how it changes lives just by seeing him here in the flesh. We had a phone call. Um, and it was one of the executives at Expedia. And she said, we want to give $5,000 right now. All right. And wow. even don't better. You, don't you want to give $5,000 right now? And how about even better, she said, next year, we're going to do even more. So we've got go. them on board. We're, we're going to hold them to that for next year. But thank, big thank you to Expedia and all the other corporate sponsors who jumped in tonight. That all right. was just huge. Let's go talk to the phone bank advisors. Yes? All right. The Close. celebrities? Wait. Who's got some phones? Oh, what have you heard on the phones? Oh, I hate to see people, are <laughs> people are excited. <laughs> well, Tamara is to to Tom Tamara from Delta is very, very busy talking to people on the phone. And you're very, very busy talking to people on the phone. <laughs> I was all night. It's a big night. Okay, phones are still open for a few minutes. So, oh, you know what? We should talk to Wands because all night long. I'd like you to sing for us. If I were the king of the forest, not duke, not prince, not earl. Wait, I we want the camera on you because I don't think they could see the lovely one singing. Let's try that again. Life doesn't always give a second. No, I'm not kidding. Did you do the same thing? If I were the, if I were the king of the forest, not duke, not earl, not squire. If you were the king, what would you do? Would you donate to OBCC? 
If I were the king, in the words of Doctor of, of, of the, doc, the great doctor, I'd build a, a bigger clinic. Oh, perfect. My man. Do you want to help? Do you want to help? You should help. You should help. <laughs> Margaret, do you have a message? Absolutely. I think this um, it was summed up with Dr. Ben this morning by saying that this is a chance to offer dignity to every little kid and to support families who need our support. So let's do it and let's build that second clinic. Let's build that clinic. Let's do it. Let's say yes. We are going to build a clinic. From them. You know, it was hard. I kept coming over here to talk to you two and you were constantly, the phones were going constantly. So at least the Facebook world has gotten to to see the full depth and breadth of your talents. Did it feel like being a parent of a teenager always on the phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except they're like this on the phone now. Well, the phone bank, and uh, we've got plenty of time. Okay, let me remind you, if you haven't called yet, the number is 206-987-1061. Or you could text 51555 to OBCC. Or, if the web is your friend, give to seattlechildrens.org slash obcc special let's say yes to kids absolutely. ben yes to kids yes to odessa brown yes, yes to the future of our community absolutely these I kids are yours and mine and ours they're the future of our community so if you said yes thank you for saying yes to kids thank you thank you so much what they said thanks <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Growing Wellness, an Odessa Brown Children's Clinic and Seattle Children's Special is sponsored by Seattle Children's Hospital.